Hello everyone. Now today we are going to see the centrifugal clutch. So clutch is nothing but the mechanical device which is basically used to connect the input shaft to the transmission shaft, that is the output of the vehicle or output from the gearbox. Because the clutch is present in between the engine and the gearbox transmission system. So the centrifugal clutch in this case it mainly consists of the center shaft, that is the driving shaft. Then this is the driven shaft. And this whole assembly is attached to the driven shaft. To the driving shaft, it basically consists of this spring. To this spring, these wooden shoes they have been attached. And to these wooden shoes, at the top side, this is the friction lining material, which may be these asbestos and any other lining material, which is having high resisting force. While this uh, particularly or these are the whatever these blocks or shoes they are been placed in the structure the structure is called as the spider so how this centrifugal clutch it exactly works so here when you are this driving shaft it is rotating so initially this spring will be not get elongated as the starting rpm is less but then afterwards when this driving shaft attain one certain speed means in this is the first case where clutch is not engaged and this is the second case now here your driving shaft has attained one constant speed and at that speed the spring tries to move outward means these blocks will try to move through outward with respect to each other from the center so then this lining material will get in contact with the drum this is drum and this friction lining material will get contact in the drum and they will try to rotate the drum and here the drum is in contact with the driven shaft so then you will get the output motion or output speed so in this way now your clutch will be in engaged position so this in this in this way our centrifugal clutch it works now what are the advantages of the centrifugal clutch it is less expensive it requires less maintenance and engagement speed can be controlled by selecting the appropriate spring stiffness then it helps to prevent the engine from stalling but the drawback is that there but basically due to friction there will be overheating problem is there and uh, as the friction is there so there will be chances of slipping also and uh, the engagement of that blocks the friction lining material depends upon the speed of the input shaft is the driving shaft and the torque transmitting capacity of the centrifugal clutch is very less so most of this is the centrifugal clutch is used in mopeds they are used in mopeds or lawn mowers or mini bikes not used for commercial vehicles so these are the applications of the advantage and disadvantage of the centrifugal clutch now we will see it's working hi guys and welcome back to howmachineworks.com with the help of this animation let's learn how a centrifugal clutch actually works so on the screen you have a centrifugal clutch animation let's identify the component that's the clutch housing connected to the transmission in blue then we have the centrifugal clutch shoes inside then we have the engine shaft that's drive from the engine reaching the centrifugal clutch then we have the springs connecting the clutch shoes with the shaft right so let's see the location where the centrifugal clutch is located so that's our engine okay then there we have the flywheel after the flywheel we have the engine drive shaft the drive from the engine is going to the clutch that's a centrifugal clutch over there all right then that's a drive to transmission from the clutch the drive goes to transmission and finally our transmission is there so let's have a closer look a zoom look at uh, the centrifugal clutch so that's a centrifugal clutch right and inside we have uh, the clutch shoes the springs and the shaft uh, from the engine so that's uh, here okay that's the location so now let's uh, see further when the engine uh, rotates the rpm goes through uh, the engine shaft again let's see that's the engine shaft it rotates there in inside the centrifugal clutch that result in the centrifugal clutch shoes also to rotate because the shaft is connected to it so as it rotates what happens there's a clutch housing connected to the transmission that's in blue but you can see the clutch shoes and the clutch housing are not connected because there is a gap so as there is a gap, the drive from the engine, which is reaching the clutch shoes, is not going uh, to the clutch housing. Thereby, it's not going to the transmission. So uh, this is how it looks like. This is the clutch shoes rotating inside. And as the RPM increases, 
uh, the, due to the centrifugal force, you can see as it's rotated, there's a centrifugal force. The clutch shoes actually get more closer to the clutch housing. And further as the speed increases, it gets in contact with the clutch housing. And that's how the drive from the engine, which is reaching uh, the clutch shoes, is getting transmitted to the clutch housing and thereby it goes to the transmission. This is due to the centrifugal force. That's why it's called as a centrifugal clutch. So let's see uh, in more detail. The engine is getting uh, the drive. So the engine shaft here rotates like this. And that drive is getting to the shaft inside uh, the centrifugal clutch. So as it rotates, it gets in contact. You can see the shoes, that centrifugal clutch shoes and the centrifugal uh, housing gets in contact. So that the drive gets to the uh, housing, the clutch housing. So that's how the clutch housing is rotating. And see now, as it is in contact, the clutch housing is now rotating. And as the clutch housing rotates, you can see here the clutch housing rotates. The drive from the housing, as it is connected through this particular shaft, the transmission, that green shaft, that's a clutch shaft rotates, and that makes the drive reach the transmission finally. So that's how a centrifugal clutch actually works. So I believe you understand it's working. For more videos, please click the subscribe button so that you'll get Thank you.